Hi there. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person. And what do these cards have to say today? We have seven of wands. Six of wands. Three of pentacles. Hangman. Page of Pentacle, Nine of Wands, King of Cups, Seven of Swords. Wow, that's some tricky energy. Um, you know, you may be feeling your person's energy. Like if you're feeling a little bit heavier than usual, um, maybe a little bit of overwhelm. I mean, we've got... Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands. It's like feels like, um, gosh, it can be like just one thing after another. Um, however, you know, we do have Six of Wands here too. So there is uh, the ability to overcome this situation um, and have an opportunity to uh, work together. I feel like some of these, some of these heavier, denser energies. Uh, must be released at this time. I feel like it's time to really go deep within and figure out, you know, what stays and what goes here because um, there's some energies that your person seems to be struggling with or battling with or holding on to uh, that no longer serve um, their highest good. Um, you know, it's interesting because this this bottom this card kind of was wanted to join this reading was kind of jumping out there eight of cups uh, bottom of this deck we have moon i feel like things are definitely coming up to the surface um to be dealt with as uh, what i'm getting let's um let's add this let's add this eight of cup uh in the moon here these two want to join this reading also this moon look bottom see look bottom of this deck now is two of cup so i feel like your person wants to be with you they think about you all the time but they're just dealing with gosh it feels like it's one thing after another let's pull let's pull one on the seven of wand nine of wand here four wands yeah they want that union with you um but it just feels like they keep yeah seven of sword again they keep um hitting a brick wall is what i'm getting here with these uh cards let's pull one on this seven of sword this one this one's kind of jumping out here let's pull this one temperance yeah they want to heal this situation I feel like they need to allow these things to rise to the surface uh to be dealt with star energy yeah the universe is guiding this transformation the universe is guiding this release um again you may be feeling your person's energy you may be feeling heavy this is yeah it's feeling like this heavy this heaviness like this um needing to rest or an overwhelm or or um like just a reflection it's like reflection time time to go within it's i feel like it's not time for action it's time for reflection as uh, what i'm getting here the six of wands is saying yes we'll be able to um achieve our goals we'll be able to balance this situation you know two of pentacles is balanced temperance is balanced um, it's the right mixture of energies. Like this three of pentacles is saying you have the ability to work together here. Three of wands is saying you have a beautiful future ahead for the two of you. Uh, if this is your reading, I feel like things are coming up in the spiritual realm, in the energetic realm, in the 5D, whatever, however you explain that. Coming up to be... Um, dealt with here figured out uh, three of pentacles twice yes you have a mission like you me us past present future yeah there's there's you have everything you need 
um, spiritually, materially, physically, uh, everything you need will be provided for you. Fool energy. Yeah, this, I feel like old baggage is being cleared. It's coming up to the surface to be released. Three of Swords. Yeah, it's, it hasn't been easy. It feels like it's one thing after another after another. And there's like this yearning um, to be together. But it's it, it feels like um, hitting a wall here is what I'm getting. Uh, Six of Wands. Oh, look how, look how these cards are duplicating themselves. So, uh, um, Seven of Swords. You know, Seven of Swords was giving me like that brick wall feeling. Like, keep hitting a wall, hitting a wall, hitting a wall. Like, something's got to change. I think there's, I'm never going to be able to quote the, the, I'm never going to be able to quote it, but I think it's, I think it's Albert Einstein who said something like, um, nothing will ever change unless you change the way you approach it or something. I know that's absolutely not the, not the quote, but something about changing the perspective or something, or, or there's something about looking at things differently here because there's big love here this queen of well let's pull or king we got king of cups let's pull one on the six of wands we have here twice yeah this nine of cups here it's like you and your person can have happiness you can have it all look queen of pentacles is duplicating itself you have all the tools you have everything um you have all the tools necessary to transform this relationship into um something more balanced here i feel like it's time to make a different decision here with the two of um swords like like instead of doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results it's time to change something and you'll get a different result yeah there was something about yeah the results or something here page of sword energy I feel like your person has all these grand ideas they love you very much um but it's like they still feel like they're like banging their head against a, a, a wall here uh this moon i feel like things are coming up from the surface to be dealt with and your person can handle it at this time with the strength card here three of cup energy i feel like that, that trinity we got three of wands three of cups three of pentacles twice we had three of swords Ooh, we got all the threes um all the threes um threes are attached to the empress energy it's like they want to nurture you they want to reconnect with you uh they want to you know um you know the empress is very uh nurturing energy it's like they want to nurture this relationship but they have to deal with their old baggage in order to do so um yeah two of cups is still on the bottom of this deck it's like there's they want to um deal with their issues and they are you know if they're definitely like hitting uh, a brick wall here is what i'm getting like i feel like they have been and now they're ready to maybe step to the side and then they won't you know run into the wall again here uh is what i'm getting all right let's close with a, a mystical shaman oracle message we got number 29 the journey the time to embark on the great journey is here. Do not linger in the port when distant shores are calling. Fearlessly draw your own navigational charts as you discover the route. When the time is right, as it is now, you will be led true, even when you are not sure of where you are going. It is the departure that is most important. If you miss the boat, a great opportunity will be lost and another ship may not arrive for a very long time. The journey is calling you, and the journey is an invitation to step outside the boundaries of your life as you know it. The journey is not a holiday. It is a call to be hermit-like and to go on a pilgrimage into the unknown. There are no maps to the territory you will be exploring, no marked paths or road signs. Um, let's see. Remember that... The point of the journey is not the destination. It's who you will become as you are transformed along the way. Do not confuse the inner and the outer journey. Peace be with you. Bye now.